okay welcome back icp gang icp fam we're looking at icp once again right here wonderful we're all on the same page now how crazy is that anyway looking at this what can we see right here so first things first is yesterday's candle is what i want to go over so yesterday's candle what did we see happen we got a doji candle which is basically kind of like a momentum shift if you would so that being said we did also well as of right now we are seeing a green candle for today which would be more indicative that we are going to be seeing bias would be a bit more towards the upside as of right now um now overall i've been saying that i am looking for right here this between like really like four dollars and 395 ish uh going down to this point of control over here it could be around uh actually no it, nah. now overall that that's where i'm ultimately looking for however as of right now what we are seeing is a push on up so what does that mean are we going to see a push up before we come down to here like that potentially or is this just going to be a little dud and then loop de loop and pull and then your shoes are looking cool so could end up seeing something like that if we were to see something like that what would that look like in the bigger picture so if we zoom out like this so what that would look like in the bigger picture as you guys can see you do have kind of like this wedge shape right here so you go bing bong bing bing come down to here make that higher low and then you end up breaking out which would look something like this if i can adjust this as you guys can see so generally speaking that's kind of what it is looking like it's just the question whether or not we get a pump up first before we drop down in my opinion at least so ultimately as of right now even in the shorter time frame i am leaning a bit more bullish uh but i am looking ultimately for this target however if things do change then obviously we got to change with it not just blindly just keep saying the same thing um so anyway as of right now if you were to get a measure move for this wedge then that measure move roughly would be getting us up to about six dollars eighty cents which is pretty much back to this high so that is your larger move if you want to do a bit of like a smaller one let's say something like that that gets you back up to about six dollars 22 cents which is back in our yellow box but of course like i said things can always change um let's see do we see anything here bbwp which is volume and volatility expansion and compression is expanding upwards as of right now uh and rsi is also pivoting up from here as well right off of that uh oversold mark um other than that though there's really not too much else to point out other than the volume you can even see the volume here for the wedge um starting right where my cursor is so that does make sense for the wedge to play out uh it's just really where the wedge plays out too so um basically that's really gonna be about it uh none of this is financial advice of course these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos